So I borrowed my neighbor's pine tree for this project and just cut off several branches that looked the most green off of the tree. When I got the branches back to the garage, I needed to lay them all out to see what I was working with. I knew the general shape and size that I wanted, but I needed to organize the branches to make that general base shape from the largest branches that I had cut off because I needed a solid branch to hold all of the other trimmings together when I decided to attach them. The two things I used to fasten the branches together were E6000 glue and some floral wire I had laying around the garage. I don't need it to be real sturdy since it will only be sitting in my living room for about a month. After a bit of assembly, I decided I wanted to try a snowed on look for the pine. I also trimmed the needles a bit to be in the more typical boxy shape and to add volume to the garland. You can also see I'm cutting the branches after I spray painted them. I found that for some reason it kind of looked sharper and more clean that way. This is the final branch after the trim and the spray paint. And then here is the comparison between the before and after. And here's the progress halfway through the project. Once I got to the center of the piece, I just began sticking little tiny stems in between the roving branches. At this point, there was so much wire and glue in the middle that I could just basically paste them there and they would stick. The two things I did have to purchase for this project were berry stems from Hobby Lobby. They were only $1.50 each, so it didn't break the bank. But I do love that classic red and green holly look, so I absolutely needed to add these to my project. almost done guys. After adding those purchased products from Hobby Lobby, I also grabbed some mesquite pods from the mesquite tree outside in the yard, which I think add the perfect touch of Southwest to this handmade home. Once it was in its final resting place, I added the finishing touches and primped it, of course. I picked these adorable reindeer up at Savers the other day. I don't know how much they were, but they were actually the inspiration for this project. So thank you all for joining me today, and until the next one.